Okay, it's a wonderfully sunny, warm uh, November. What is today's date? Is anyone? Sixteenth. Uh, and we're working on two uh, story problems from uh, chapter six on, on fractions. The first question says a plane starts at a height of 2,500 meters. It descends at a rate of 10 meters a second for five seconds, then ascends at 15 meters per second for 10 seconds. Write this and uh, write this as an expression and simplify. So in non-mathematical terms, its starting height combined with how far it went down, combined with how far it went up, without doing much multiplication other than the com combining it with, that makes sense as an expression. Where it started plus what, how far it went down plus how far it went up would end up at the starting height. So when we rewrite this as a story problem, its starting height, oh, the starting height was 2,500 meters. Plus how far did it go down? If we look at this, it descends at a rate of 10 meters a second for five seconds. Which one of those two numbers, 10 or five, is negative? To 10, because it's going down 10 meters for five seconds. So it's five groups of going down 10 meters each of those groups of seconds. So it is five groups. Oh, that's a highlighter. Still a highlighter. Five groups of going down 10. So how far did it go down? It went down 50 meters or negative 50 meters. So when we add negative 50, that's going to put it down. It's the same thing as subtracting 50. And how far did it go up? Well, it went up for 10 seconds. It goes up 15 meters a second. So it's 10 groups of going up 15 meters. And we can see really quickly that's going to be up 150 meters. So when we simplify this expression with bed mass, it's going to be 2,500 plus negative 50 plus positive 150. Just doing my multiplications first because that's what bed mass reminds us that we have to do. When we combine these, since we're adding, the associative property of mathematics says the order in which you uh, multiply or add terms together does not affect its product or sum. So it does not matter because we're just adding here what order we do them in, does it? So I'm going to do these two first when I add them. What do those two give me when I add them together? 100, right? Uh, plus 2,500 is 2,600, right? So therefore, therefore, the height of the plane, if you want to get your full nerd on, we're not going to put 20, we're not going to put 2,600 meters, are we? If you want to use your full nerdness, what would we put instead? 2.6 kilometers. In brackets, 2,600 meters. Okay. Any questions of that one? That's that's okay. You all remember that one. And our second question in our warm up here on this beautiful Tuesday morning it says Dawson is a farmer. His field is two thirds corn and the rest is animals. One third of the animals are sheep and the rest are cows. What fraction of his farm is cows? My heavens, my writing is good on a Tuesday morning. What's the first strategy probably most people should employ? Draw it. So we're going to draw his field, as we've done with every drawing so far this year, as a rectangle. And we're going to cut it into thirds. Why thirds? Because two-thirds are corn. So I'm going to highlight, and we're going to use the appropriate color of yellow for corn. So this is all corn here in Dawson's farm. I could even write the word corn and corn. So at a very minimal level, that's something we all want to try and be able to do. Two-thirds are corn. The rest is animals right here. So all of this here is animals. Now, what do we know about that little part? We know that one-third of those animals are sheep. So I'm going to cut it into thirds. And there's our thirds. And in fact, if we wanted to, we could put a little dotted line here because that does not affect, uh, affect, those little dotted lines does not affect how much corn there is, because we still know that that's still two-thirds corn. But what it does allow us to do is put sheep in here, correct? And then this right here, and we'll do it a different color, we'll do it in green, 
I don't know why cows are green, but they're green. These are all cows, aren't they? No, this is not working. My board is freezing up on me. Cows, cows. There we go. So we have cows and cows. What fraction of his farm is cows? Now, strictly from a pitcher standpoint, how many parts is that field cut into now with those dotted lines included? Nine parts. And of those nine parts of his farmer's field, how many are cows? Two. So we know the answer, therefore, two-ninths of his farm or of his field is cows. Agreed? And that's doing it strictly from a... Um, drawing standpoint. It would be really good if we could figure out what expression represents this. So let's go back for just a second. Let me ask you the question. I guess it's right here, actually. Uh, what fraction is animals of the field? One third. And of that one third, how many are cows? Two-thirds of one-third, do you agree? When I write down two-thirds, two-thirds of one-third, I guess I should have my little dashes in there, two-thirds of one-third, that could be translated into mathematics. Two-thirds of one-third. And when we translate that into two-thirds of one-third, what answer do we get? The same answer we got from the drawing, two-ninths.